If it wasn't already clear enough from my username, I'm a big fan of the game engine RPG Maker 2003 and cover a ton of games and demos built with it. Games like Enroll, or Venatura, or Final Fantasy VII Regenesis, just to name a few. There exists an incredible variety of projects built in 2K3, many of them buried inside long lost message boards and decaying media fire links, still waiting to be discovered, and it's been an enjoyable pastime covering them with my friends on Twitch and YouTube. The experience even led me to finishing my own game and hosting a game jam or two. If you're new here, and you want to make games, you'll probably click this wondering, Riggy, why are you still making games in 2K3, almost 20 years later? And rather than pointing you to unique and exciting games that may be 20 years old or 20 minutes old, for this video I figured I'd break down a couple of reasons why myself and some of my favorite game developers can't get enough of this dumpy old game engine. For starters, let's talk about some reasons why 2K3 may not be for you. If you're anticipating any options for coding in JavaScript or any other coding language, you're out of luck. RPG Maker 2000 and 2003 both predate that feature by about two years with the release of RPG Maker XP, where the use of the coding language Ruby was introduced. Instead, 2K3 is purely event-driven, demanding much more creative workarounds for unique systems. You can do things how you want, to an extent, but only if you know your way around some switches and variables, and love some good old-fashioned trial and error game development. Also, if you're hoping to create games for console or mobile platforms, right now you're out of luck too. The fact that I can upload Deluge to Steam at all is honestly a modern marvel. Some games can work in places like Android and the Wii, thanks to amazing programs called Easy RPG, but it's still actively in development and can't quite play everything yet. Thankfully, limitations can breed creativity, and that's when I get excited to play RPG Maker 2003 games. Let's talk about the good stuff. These games feel inspired. You're not just playing some sort of adventure game funded by a big studio and crafted by hundreds of different designers. You're playing somebody's passion project. They built this game because they wanted to. The same way a lot of the best musicians recorded their unforgettable first albums in their bedrooms. This is Kikiyama building their magnum opus, by themselves, on a home computer. You're not playing this Final Fantasy game because of Square Enix. You're playing a game because a 16-year-old UPRC spent a couple of years writing it and developing it in his bedroom. Sure, it would be an interesting experience to give a young UPRC the keys to the CEO office at Square Enix, but that never happened. They just keep making more Final Fantasy games. Instead, you can enjoy Black Moon Prophecy for free, or Kamau's Legion Saga series, or all six episodes of The Way. They all have different atmospheres, but they all tie themselves together with that same familiar pixelated graphic style, all 320 by 240 of them. The pixel remasters of Final Fantasy games were cool, but they represent a modern take on a dated style of designing. It looks sleek and nice, and games like Octopath Traveler are predicting the future of the genre, but RPG Maker 2003 games do not give a shit. To me, this is what being pixel perfect is really all about. You're confined to those 320 by 240 pixels, and you better make every single one count. Sorry, that got a little intense. If it isn't apparent by the variety of games I've been playing in the past few months, and this list of 2K3 games available to purchase on Steam, there's still a sizable community creating games. A lot of cool projects, like Astral Guard, Raziel, Inner World, and Melon Journey are all still on their way. Through Discord communities, itch.io, the RPG Maker subreddit, and even in good old-fashioned forums, I've seen games pop up from time to time, getting me excited to see what else is being made this year. And as for me, I've moved on to MZ. It can use 16x16 16 16 tiles now, but I'll still play your 2K3 games. If I've convinced you at all to give RPG Maker 2003 a test drive, you'll be happy to know that along with the existence of a game engine that's almost 20 years old, there too exist tutorials, instructional videos, and sample projects on how to do just about anything you can think of. NinjaConnor 86s walkthrough on YouTube is simple and to the point, and RPGMaker.net hosts tons of tutorials and projects to dig through and experiment with. Not surprisingly, given its niche fandom, but a Tumblr post by Pinku Boa actually provides a fantastic collection of links to help you get started too, so props to them for organizing that. And if you get really curious, you could always learn the way I did and just break open every single game you can find in the engine and see how it all works. Thanks for watching.